Okay, so we are here for the training on how to use ChatGPT to create and optimize your resume the right way. So we're gonna take a resume, we're gonna take a job description and give you some prompts in the step-by-step -step process to optimize your resume with ChatGPT. So first we're going to drop in the prompt, you are a career coach recruiting an HR expert, I'm going to give you my current resume and a job description. First, analyze both and let me know my strengths and weaknesses in applying for the job. This is a great prompt to start off with because we can first get a um, high level job, sorry, a high level understanding of fit for the job and what we need to work on. So I'm going to grab a anonymized resume And then we are going to paste in the job description. Now with the job description, you don't need uh, everything outside of the, the work you do and what you're gonna be responsible for. Um, okay. I'm going to copy there. I'm not going to worry about any of that. That doesn't really help us. Okay. So then we drop that in there and we get our answer to our first prompt. And again, I recommend ChatGPT4 for this. I think it's worth the money to get the better results. Um, okay. So we get the strengths and weaknesses. So we see leadership and relationship management works well here, project management, strategic insight. Now this is someone that is wanting to pivot into HR. So this is where uh, we want to help uh, improve the resume. Now we can, we can talk about different ways to do that, but this is someone who's pivoting. So we understand what those specifics are. So now that we've got overall areas we could we could see if we could add hr technology in if we wanted to learn that um, industry knowledge about events attended etc so that is an area for improvement so after that uh, we're going to ask for keywords to include in the resume and then ask why All right, so this is where we can include some keywords, understand why we want to put them in. Some of those can go in key skills. Some of those can be peppered into your bullets. And obviously you get to use your best judgments that if you're pivoting and you don't have all of this, um, you don't have to, but with service delivery, project management, client relationships. Um, and then what we want to do is what are so I'm going to put that same prompt in there and, and um, 10 keywords not currently in my what are the top keywords not currently in my resume I need and why so this is a, a better question where we get to ask the ones that aren't in there. Okay, so we get some repeats. All right. So one one area I, I might include is the education section. 
where you can get some of these uh, models that you're starting to understand in a uh, education section or continuing study. So you can get some more of these in there. Okay, so now that we're there, we're going, once you have uh, the keywords, now analyze my resume for metrics and numbers. Um, so 50 to 60% of the, of the bullet points um, should have numbers or metrics showcasing the value I provide. Uh, let me know how I'm doing there. and show me bullets that don't contain metrics. So I'm going to say 60 to 66% as a best practice. Okay, and you can ask ChatGPT, um, you know, please offer suggested metrics for these bullets. Now, I don't want you to make up stuff, but this can give you good ideas for metrics that are relevant for the bullets that you uh, that you've provided. And again, you may not have all of this data and any data that you put in your resume, you get to back up with an explanation in your interview. So don't put anything that you can't stand behind. Okay, next we want to look for any weak action verbs. Great. So you can see uh, over C, you can see where these uh, weak verbs can be improved to be more compelling. And then lastly, what we want to do is uh, prompt around any filler words that might Yeah, so multiple, we can use numbers uh, and as well as we can say alongside or and. And then lastly, we want to highlight any repetitive verbs and offer alternatives. We don't have to do this. I mean, you can have a couple repetitive verbs in there, but 
if uh, if you say managed, you know, every single time, uh, it can be. All right. And then after you make all of these changes in your document, um, I'll have another prompt in there uh, that is like a super prompt and say, you know, is there anything else that you would do to improve the resume based on all of the prompts that I've asked thus far with the revised resume? And you can also run it through uh, again and again. Hope that was helpful and hope that it helps you improve your resumes.